What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Dusty the Airstream Trailer Renovation Restoration. In this episode we're going to be talking about the installation of the tank level sensors for the black tank, both gray tanks, as well as the wiring of those sensors and all the necessary wiring uh, throughout the frame prior to the installation of belly pan and the subfloor. I have uh, the belly pan here and I will be picking up the subfloor in the next couple of days as well as the uh, marine epoxy that will seal that subfloor prior to the installation of that. In the meantime, I have made the brackets for the black tank. We've cleaned it up and I have uh, painted all of that and that is ready for the installation after we get these sensors in. So let's go ahead and move over and let's get this work started. and. Uh, show you exactly what we're going to do step by step for each one of these sensors as well as the wiring of these sensors here we go let's get started all right everyone before we get this work started i do want to make a few points to help make more sense of exactly what we're doing when installing tank level sensors it's important to make sure that you get the appropriate tank level sensors for the appropriate tanks since we're talking about the black tank here or your wastewater holding tank, it's appropriate to make sure that you actually get the wastewater holding tank or black water tank sensors. You'll notice on this one that it's got a piece of white plastic that goes around it. And the reason for this is that it will prevent false level readings in the actual wastewater holding tank from things like sewage or your toilet paper. So it's important to make sure that you get the appropriate sensors. When we install this, what we're going to do is we're going to take a 3 8 inch drill bit and drill a hole in the sidewall based off of our measurements. And once we get that, it'll install in there. And this bigger piece of the rubber grommet will actually sit against the outside wall of the tank. And we will tighten down on this first nut right here against that to give it a tight seated fitting. Um, and then what we'll do is we would remove this outside nut and start to install our wiring harness for the actual readings of these sensors. And the way that works is when you look at this, KBI, which is who I went with, does a really good job of building a harness. And the way this works is that you would use your yellow wire for a one-thirds full reading that hooked up to your sensor. Then the next one, which would be your green wire, would go to your two-thirds full reading on your sensor. And then the orange wire would go to your full reading on your tank level sensor. And your red wire is going back to as your signal wire uh, to your monitor. And you'll notice this white wire, which is a lot longer. And on the end of it is opposite compared to where the eyelet is. And the purpose for this is because the white is your ground, and this needs to be no less than 10 inches away. So KBI does a really good job of building this harness. So if I were to draw my holes over here, let's say, and install these sensors, I can then take my grounding sensor and install it over here, which would then give me the proper readings back to my monitor. So I just wanted to make that quick note prior to the installation of this in hopes that makes a little bit better understanding for some people. So let's go ahead and switch this over and get this work started. All right, everyone, I want to make a quick note before we get this uh, drilled out and started. If you order your black tank just like this from Vintage Trailer Supply and you do no custom configuration, they will already have the tank sensors pre-installed for you. Granted, this is a custom configuration, and they don't know what that configuration is going to be once it's installed to the frame. So because of that, they won't install tank sensors in for you, and you would have to do it on your own. Based off of where this is going to land in the frame and how it's sitted and leveled out, it's going to be the exact same configuration as if this was just stock. So I'm going to drill it out in the exact same location. And they actually leave tabs right here marking those locations. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill out uh, all three of these for my level sensors, and then we'll move over here and do the ground one uh, from there. So let's go ahead and get this started. It's also important to note that when you're tightening down on these, make sure you don't over tighten them. Just enough to seat them properly.
out the wire harness. Yellow goes on the bottom. Put that there. Green will go on the next one. And orange on top. And of course, not last but not least, our ground, the white one. Just like that. So now all we have left is to connect the rest of the ground to the rest of the sensors on the gray tanks to their grounds. And then the signal going back to the actual uh, monitor itself. All right, now that I've got the black tank back in position, you can see the wire management on the tank sensors are good. I'm gonna go grab a pair of cutters and cut the excess of this hose clamp off. Signal and ground wire headed back to where the monitor will be. We will then grab this bracket, put that into place, bolts here to this cross section, bolts here to this cross section. We will then grab this one, it bolts to this cross section here, as well as grabbing this and bolting it to this back cross section. From there, we'll re-hook up this line, fill it up, check sure that everything is watertight sealed, and we will call this black tank officially complete. All right, guys, so before we install these actual tank sensors in the actual gray tanks, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way by filling it up with water, and then we'll mark our lines in five-gallon increments. The first uh, one-third reading will be at five gallons. The second will be at 10 gallons, and the third will be right around 14 and a half, which will give us the added extra needed for clearance, plus I suspect about a gallon and a half to two gallons in the total piping. Uh, when that actually takes up and fills up which we'll just verify that as we do this so i'm going to switch this over and we're going to get this filled up and get this thing started All right, now that we've got our tank level sensors marked, we'll go ahead and use a 3 8 inch drill bit, draw each one of the four holes, and then go ahead and put the tank level sensors right into those, tighten them down, wire them up. So I'm gonna put this uh, camera in a position that you can watch me do this, and we'll get this work started and finish. It'll only take probably two minutes.
All right, now that we got all the uh, tank sensors in, it's all wired up. Water's filled in both tanks. And officially no leaks, which means everything is complete. This video is a wrap. If you haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, as, as always, this is Danny signing out.